Any ideas what we're doing today? Any ideas with this hair? So for all my OG supporters, you guys know that anything 60s and retro, we're here for it. We do it, it's literally my signature. But some of you might be new and a lot of you asked for me to recreate the Ariana Grande music video, her newest one. So that's what we're doing today. Let's do it, 1960s, cut crease, super soft. Oh, I'm so excited, this is, this is where I'm at. So we'll kind of make this a cut crease tutorial. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna coat our entire lid all the way up to our brow bone with our Gerard Clean Canvas. Bases like this are great because they're gonna make your eyeshadows really blend smoothly. And then you're also gonna be able to come back and carve your crease with them. So I highly recommend this one. Before we get started, can someone tell me who, or just you know, point out the artist who originally did it? I wanna make sure to give them credit. I couldn't find it. Um, I'm going to leave the picture in the next slide that I'm copying. Okay, so you guys just told me that Michael did it. I'm going to tag him here. I love his work. He did such an amazing job on this music video. So make sure you guys follow him. Okay, so we already have our shape here. It's pretty easy to map out. Honestly, I can't put this palette down. I'm sorry, I've, I even tried to go look for another one and I'm like, it has the perfect tones for this look. It never lets me down, it just blends perfectly. It's all I wanna use. So I'm gonna grab this little brush here, it's very similar to a MAC 228. This one is a prototype, so that's why I'm not mentioning it. I'm gonna go right into this color. And what I'm gonna do is, you can see the fold of my eye. We have to bring this up so much higher. Ariana's is almost all the way up to her brow bone. So we'll kind of just press it where we wanted it first. Now it looks very faint, but that's what we want. If we go into heavy right now, we could mess everything up and lose our shape. So press it in here first. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more while I have you here. Douglas is trying to tell us all sorts of things that we don't want to hear. And I'm just going to continue to do this and build it up. And then remember the brush that we used with the eye base. We can always come back in and just kind of shape it the way we want it. Hers doesn't go in as far through here. It kind of just tapers and fades. So we can just kind of push that back in with our eyeshadow base brush. This is what's gonna really tie it together and really help us with our shape. We're gonna go into the same exact shade we've been using, but instead of using the side of the brush, I'm actually gonna use the very tip of the brush. And from here, we're just gonna press this and connect it. Hers comes very close to her brow. And Ariana has very straight brows, so it's really high up. So we get it to look like this one over here. So after we have our shape, the next step is we're gonna take the side of the brush and we're gonna go into this shade in the palette. And we're just gonna go right over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna zoom you in so I can show you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start tapping the side of the brush over the top part of our line. So only the top part. And that's just gonna soften it and really blend it. Don't be afraid of this going really high up to the brow bone because that's where hers is. And now, believe it or not, we're almost done. We're gonna go into the lightest shade in the Mario palette and we'll just tap this on our brow bone. And then from here, we'll just kind of bring it out this way. Now, just to make sure that our cut crease here is extremely defined, we're going to grab this darker shade, and I'm grabbing this on a pencil brush. This is a Quo pencil brush. And all we're going to do is go right underneath here, and with the lightest of pressure, notice I was holding my brush too far up. I'm going to have more control when I hold my brush farther back. We're just going to really go through and define the bottom line. And I just want to really show you that when we think cut crease, we think, oh, well, we need to go right above the crease. I want you to notice how far up this is. That's really, it's an illusion. It's not about following your actual crease. 
It's about creating the illusion of a much larger lid space. Now we'll just take whatever base is still left on our eye and we'll just really kind of go through here, clean it up, make it nice and defined. I noticed that his isn't as perfect underneath here. It's a little more blended. So I'm not gonna go in and really try to cut it. Grab my MAC 252S and we're gonna go back into our Mario palette. We're gonna grab this beautiful cream shade and we're just gonna start tapping this all over our lid. Notice that I'm using a flat brush. I'm picking up more product and I'm really pressing it into the base. And you can just see that it creates that beautiful illusion. So I just checked the picture. She has just a nice little thin line, a black liner across her lash line. And I'm gonna be using my Mario pencil. And then it just kind of pulls into our brown, just ever so lightly. but it is all the way across. So now we're just gonna continue smoking it out and I just kind of pulled it through here, but just underneath. So I'm gonna be using a My Makeup Forever. This is the Redness Correcting Primer. I love this primer. You know these rosy cheeks, they'd be trying to make their <laughs> debut every single day, but this keeps it at bay. Pretty sure these are the only lashes I wear anymore because I just love the shape of them. And they have a very 60s cat eye effect anyways. These are from House of Lashes. And I'm just gonna pop these on. And the lash applicator is also from House of Lashes. And then I take the applicator and I'll take it and I'll grab these lashes. And I'll just kind of hold them together and clamp them down with my natural lashes. This also kind of curls them on the outer part. I'm gonna grab my Huda foundation today. You guys know I've been loving this one. The verdict is out and I love it, but I think I just grabbed the wrong shade. I did, this one's gonna be a touch too dark, but we'll just go with it. I'm gonna mix it with my correct shade. I just added shortbread, which is my correct shade on top. And as you can see, it's not gonna be too wild. I actually like the shade Latte and it's gonna be great if I get a little bit of sun, which I normally don't. I hide in my house like a cookie eating vampire. That's what I do. But it's not too off, so it's not gonna be too insane and we're not gonna have to wipe it off. We can just kind of mix it. I'm gonna grab my Rare Beauty Concealer we're gonna do some pretty intense brightening here. You guys know I've been loving this concealer. And we're gonna go pretty heavy because we're supposed to be in a music video. Now I'm gonna grab my Anissa Angle Concealer Brush. Just really tap this in. I'm gonna to start to set my face. I already set my under eyes. Remember, I'm filming an IGTV. And I'm using my Kylie Soft Pink Powder today and my Tati Blendiful. So now we're gonna set the rest of the face. I'm gonna do powder bronzers today and powder blush. And I'm grabbing my Anissa Multi Powder Brush and I'm using my Rimmel Press Powder. And I'm just really pressing that into the skin. Never swiping, always pressing. So I haven't used this bronzer in 100 years and I'm super excited. I feel like it's gonna be perfect. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. It's in the shade Diffused Light, Diffused Bronze Light. And I'm using my Anissa Buffing Bronzer Brush. Yes, this is the perfect shade of bronzer for this look. This looks so pretty. And then of course, I'll just tap it here. I'm also loving this, this brush because it's fitting here nice and precise. Sometimes when we use too fluffy of a brush, we're not able to get that nice contour. Look, I got something I've always wanted to try. So Nikita came out with her new palette, which we're gonna use this, this is with Morphe. But in that PR package was this, and I've always wanted to try this. This is from Dragon Beauty, and I'm just gonna grab this shade, and I'm just gonna go right underneath my eyes. 
and I'm using my Anissa Tapered Highlight Brush. Let's go on the sides of the nose, picking up a little bit more. That's really pretty. I just went and looked at the picture. She has a smidge more contour, so I'm gonna grab this cool tone here. Same Anissa Buffing Bronzer. And I'm just going to push this right here where I can see my natural cheekbone. Now I'm not gonna bring this as far down as I did the bronzer, but it's definitely more contoured on her cheeks. Now it doesn't look like she's wearing any blush, but I'm gonna take that same Dior contour palette and we're gonna kind of pre-contour our lips. This is a NARS brush, but it's very similar to a MAC 224. And I'm kind of going mainly on my lips, but a little bit on the outer part of my lips as well. I really want to zoom you in so you can see. This is going to look kind of crazy until we get our lipstick on. Bear with me. We're going to get through our lip contour together. It looks crazy before it looks less crazy because I'm going to look crazy with these big old lips. So now I'm going to grab my Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. And this is a very neutral, cool shade. This is the shade Endless Cacao. And we're kind of drawing over, but then we're gonna grab our same brush that we used and just kind of smooth and blend it together. Look at these little plumpers! So what I like to do is I'll grab my concealer brush and I'm not going around here and really being too precise. I'm just kind of going around and make sure we didn't get too out of control but we want the edges to be a little blurred. Now in the picture, she has on a really, really pretty neutral nude, and this one from Kylie is perfection. So we'll just throw it on. This is the shade Kiss Me Sailor. Last but not least, we're gonna apply a few bottom lashes. She has them just on the outer part. I have an entire Saved highlight. Ooh, these are perfect. Saved highlight on how to apply bottom lashes. So check my saved highlights. So we'll just do three out here. This is cute. Did I mention we're not going to do blush? I think I mentioned it. Well, we're not. There we have it. I didn't have the cute little top she has. I'm so upset. But I have this blazer and it's pretty much the same color. Also, my earrings are vintage. Super cute, right? I can buy it with this look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. So many of you asked me, and it was actually pretty simple. This is even a little more simple than my normal cut creases. So I feel like this would be really good to start with if you're a beginner. Of course, I will be saving it to my highlights, and what else am I gonna do? Oh, and of course, I'll post all of the details in just a little while. I love you guys, and what do you wanna see next?